Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, November the 20th, and the scripture for this service, Psalms 94 and 95. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 1 through 10 and 16 through 18, and a canticle from Isaiah chapter 45, verses 17 through 18 and 22 through 25. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O oh Most High, avenging God, avenging God appear. Alleluia, Psalms 94 and 95. <clears throat> Alleluia, O Most High, avenging God, avenging God, appear. Judge of the earth, rise, and give the proud what they deserve. How long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster with arrogant speech. The evildoers boast to each other. They crush your people, they afflict the ones you have chosen. They kill the widow and the stranger, and murder the orphan child. And they say, God does not see. The God of Jacob, Rachel, and Leah pays no heed. Mark this, most senseless of people. Fools, when will you understand? Can the one who made the ear not hear? Can the one who formed the eye not see? Will the one who trains nations not punish? Will the one who instructs not have knowledge? For you, God, know the thoughts of mere mortals that they are no more than a breath. Happy are those whom you teach, whom you train by means of your law. To them you give peace in evil days, while the pit is being dug for the wicked. You will not abandon your people, nor forsake your chosen heritage. For judgment shall again be just, and all true hearts shall uphold it. Who will stand up for me against the wicked? Who will defend me from those who do evil? If you were not to help me, I would soon go down into the silence. When I think I have lost my foothold, your mercy holds me up. When cares increase in my heart, your consolation calms my soul. Can judges who do evil be your friends? They do injustice under cover of law. They attack the life of the just and contemn innocent blood. As for me, you will be my stronghold. You will be the rock where I take refuge. You will repay them for their wickedness and destroy them for their evil deeds. Our God will destroy them. Come, let us sing out our joy to our God beloved and hail the rock who saves us. We come before you giving thanks. With songs we praise you. You are a mighty God, a great ruler above all gods. In your hands are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains as well. <clears throat> the sea belongs to you, you who made it, and the dry land shaped by your hands. We bow and bend low, we kneel before you who made us, for you are our God, and we are the people, the flock, who belong to your pasture. Oh, that today we would listen to your voice, Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your ancestors put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Forty years I endured that generation, and I said their hearts have gone astray. They do not know my ways, and so I swore in my anger they shall never enter into my rest. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O Most High Avenging God. Avenging God, appear. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Habakkuk, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. A prayer of the prophet Habakkuk, according to Shigianoth. O Yahweh, I have heard of your renown, and I stand in awe of your work. 
in our own time revive it, in our own time make it known. In mercy may you re in wrath may you remember mercy. God came from Taman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise. The brightness was like the sun, rays came forth from his hand, where his power lay hidden. Before him went pestilence, and plague followed close behind. He stopped and shook the earth. He looked and made the nations tremble. The eternal mountains were shattered along his ancient pathways. The everlasting hills sank low. I saw the tents of Kushan under affliction. The tent curtains of the land of Midian trembled. Was your wrath against the rivers, O Yahweh, or your anger against the rivers, or your rage against the sea, when you drove your horses, your chariots, to victory? You brandished your naked bow, sated were the arrows at your command. <clears throat> Though the fig tree does not blossom, and no fruit is on the vines, and though the produce of the olive fails, and the fields yield no fruit, food, and though the flock is cut off from the fold, and there is no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in Yahweh. I will exalt in the God of my salvation. Yahweh the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer, and makes me tread upon the heights. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God. Grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, but Israel is saved by our God Most High with everlasting salvation. Alleluia, a canticle of the prophet Isaiah. Alleluia, but Israel is saved by our God Most High with everlasting salvation. Israel shall not be put to shame nor confounded to all eternity. For thus says our God, turn to me and be saved all ends of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. Only in me shall it be said our righteousness and strength. All who are incensed against me shall come to me and be ashamed. In me all the offspring of Israel shall triumph and glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, but Israel is saved by our God Most High with everlasting salvation. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat>